is up ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching this video this is going to be part two of the actual game here the campaign if you will what we are doing is basically the career mode we uh, if you watched the last video i highly encourage you to go watch the last video that was the first tournament i did and we actually uh did pretty well with it and we're going to be going into the second tournament for this one so this is going to be part two and I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you guys are, please don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. As well as leave a comment down below. If you guys are enjoying this series and want more. Um, it's always good to hear from you guys. As I'm filming this video today, I actually, we got our first video over 10,000 views. That's pretty cool. So thank you guys so much for that. At 500 subscribers, this has been going on for quite some time. Can't wait till it happens. 500 subscribers, we are going to do a giveaway featuring at least Wise Guys Tackle. I'm not completely sure on what else we will do after that, but Wise Guys Tackle will definitely be in there. There will be quite a bit of that. So definitely make sure that if you are not already subscribed to subscribe, so you can be a part of that and have a chance to win a bunch of goodies from Wise Guys and potentially some other Right, career mode it is, and now we are at the White Oak. I forgot where we were last time. Oh, it appears we, we won $5,000 for that. And 200 followers. So we're gonna start this, get going on this next event. everybody and welcome to the next event on the tour. While the competitors are making their final checks over their tackle, let's take a look at the rules for today's event. So it's total weight. I don't think this one has a as a fish count. I think it's just the total weight for this one. So that's an interesting way of doing it I guess. So this is the first cast of the tournament and we're gonna see what we can't catch. Still using that that chrome. That chrome blue. Oh, there we go, first fish. Looks to be a dandy. Whatever it is, it's not coming up yet though. Staying right next to that cover, whatever it is. It's 
53 yards out there. Oh, 58. Come on, bud. Let's apply a little bit more drag now. So I finally did figure out how to use the drag. And since I've learned that, I think it's going to allow me to definitely catch some bigger fish. Be able to pull in some bigger fish, which this is a pretty decent sized fish, whatever it is. Because it is still continuously fighting me. I have not really gained much. I'm at 30 yards from the 50 yards. It's coming in now. It's like making a run towards me. It's like coming right at the boat. A little bit too much on the drag. Started going to the red. Oops. Making a good run there. This is a decent fish, whatever it is. I haven't even seen it yet, so I can't tell if it's a bass or just something crazy different. Hopefully it's a bass because it, oh, it's a pike. I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is in the rules as a counting or, but it's an eight pound pike. It's 20 inches long. I think it is. I don't know. Was it? Oh, it's a tiger muskie, apparently. Apparently, I read that wrong. It looked a little bit more like a pike, but I guess it was a tiger muskie. Sorry about that. It's not going to help us. It gave us nothing. Right now, we're actually... Whoa, someone just caught a seven-pounder. So, we're going to have to get fishing. We're, we're down in fifth place right now. Someone caught a 13-ounce fish. Oh, there's another fish, though. Yeah, Ninth place now, we're going down. Hopefully, I, oh, I think it's a bass. Yeah, it's a bass. It's doing some jumping. It's not a giant. Right as I said that, it decided to actually take some line. But it, it's not a giant, but it should get us at least kind of in the uh, runnings again. Not quite an eight pounder like Frankie up there, Frankie White. But <clears throat> it is a nice large mouth. Let's see what we got for weight. We got three pounds. So we got a three pound large mouth. It's a giant three pounder. Yeah, it looks, it makes it look huge. Oh shoot, too far. I probably biffed this cast. Probably, yeah, just as I thought. Trying to reel it in as fast as I can. Oh, reset cast. I forgot about that. We need to get a bigger fish. We need to get on top. We're currently sitting in 12th place with our three pounder, but we need to find some bigger fish. We might not be staying here for too long. Oh, got another bite though. It looks to be pretty, ooh. Might be a little bit on the smaller side, I don't know. Ooh, I don't know, looks like it's, looks like it's halfway decent. Needing to get Needing to be eight pounds, so as long as this is like a five pounder, we're in the running. There we go. Another a smallmouth bass. What? The coloration on that thing looks so weird. It's only a three pounder, but at least that's going to get us probably in the in the top ten, I think. Yep, we're in fifth place right now. I don't know how quite how that was a smallmouth, but it looked like it was too green to be a smallmouth to me, but it's what it claimed to be it was a smallmouth, so but we're we're sitting in seventh now. Some people have caught it another fish. This one, this tournament right here, this has been a little bit more of a a challenge than the last one. If you watch the last one, we we did pretty dang good right off the get go. 
I think we're gonna move a little bit. Got a cast here. We'll make a few casts over here and then that's it. And then we'll make something drastic. Cause we need to kind of, we need a nice solid like five and a half, seven pounder in that range to kind of give us a bit of a lead. Oh, there we go, there's a fish. It's not dogging me too bad. Maybe it is. Maybe it is going to dog me a little bit. Ah, oh, man. Eight pounds, nine ounces is o Quinn O'Connor now. So we are currently sitting in 11th place. We really need to pull something out of our butt here and actually get a good fish so it can get on top. Once you get on top, it makes it a little bit easier. But staying here in 12th place is obviously putting you on the uh, putting you on the edge a little bit you gotta you gotta get a good fish oh wow made a decent little run there and this might be this might be the fish we're looking for to get us from 12th from 13th to the top really hoping it is it, it does look like it is a large mouth from what I think I've seen. So as long, yeah, it is a, definitely a large mouth, so. It is, and it's pulled drag. It's That's like its third run that it's done, so. I'm hoping it's a decent one. It looks like it's a really big one, at least. If nothing else, it looks like I got a giant. Nine pound. It's got a nine pound, 13 ounce, almost 10 pound fish. That is going to put us skyrocket us into the top there this might be a good spot we'll have to see like i said a little bit with the realism i mean you to catch nine pound fish and that on the consistency it's a little out there but i i kind of get it at the same time they do have to you know gain the attention of people and the guy the people that want to play the game um and to do that it's to to give more of the the fight to them if you went and made it too realistic not too many people would probably want to come fish because they'd be catching like pound and a half bass on the regular depending on the lakes oh shoot we're gonna reset that cast real quick so basically what we got right here is i don't know how deep it is let me, let me check how deep, oh shoot, that's a resetting a cast. I'm not quite sure on how deep it is. Forgot how to, uh, to check and see what we're talking for depth and such, but we got to our left here, a nice little island, and there's this cove out in front of us, like directly in front of us, and then another like peninsula or an island over here on our right that you can see a little bit more in the frame. But all of that is kind of tying into why that bass was actually probably held onto that structure there. So we caught it right off this peninsula here. So we'll make like two more casts to it. Nothing happens. We'll move again. Normally in a real tournament, if you caught like a 10 pound fish, you'd probably want to hang it around in that spot for a decent little bit, but the problem is, is that I don't know if there's any fish in here anymore or not. They're in this area. Oh, there's a Oh, there was a muskie following it. I wonder if I'm on top of these fish. 
I saw some stuff swimming around when I was bringing in my bait. I don't know if you guys could see that on the camera there, but hopefully you guys could kind of see it. I could just barely see it myself, so. But they got 10 pounds now, four ounces, so they're starting to be able to catch up a little bit. One fish with that guy that's on top, and he could knock me off the top spot, so. All right, like I said, we're gonna move. Well, we got eight minutes left in the tournament. And then uh, we're gonna see who wins. Pretty close. And then we got, if they catch one fish, which is completely plausible with this game, for someone to catch like a, a 10 pound fish and make a difference, obviously you saw me do it, so it's possible. We just ran over a bunch of fish, so I'm gonna, let's see if I can't catch some. Like, it was just all over the screen on the left there, so maybe. Not sure if they're even gonna be the fish we want, but we'll make a couple casts to it and see. Oh, they got 12, 12 pounds. We really need to get another fish. Really need to get another fish or else we might be getting beat. Oh, there we go. There's a fish. Looks like it's a bass. It's a bass. We needed this. I guess it isn't in the boat quite yet, but we need it. Looks like it might be really small. I don't know, it just did a pretty gnarly run there. All right, well, we got it. Let's see what we got. I think it's a smallmouth. Definitely looks like one. Smallmouth bass and it's five pounds, 14 ounces. So there we have it. We did catch one fish here. Let's see. Let's do a couple more casts. We're now 10 pounds ahead. So we got a little bit of wiggle room now. All right, we got four minutes left. I'm really hopeful. We got 10 pound lead, so we got some weight. I think after this cast, we're gonna move. 
I don't know. I don't know if the numbers are really here. And we only have four minutes, so I don't want to spend too much time here. If I can get another fish, I think that'll really solidify it. Let's go over here to this island here. Looks like it's kind of like a U shape, so it's like a horseshoe. So I think we'll be able to kind of, you should be able to find some sort of fish in this like cove there. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's in that map on the left there, top left. We'll fish this point here, leading into it. We got three minutes left, so. See what we can't do. What am I doing right now? All right, let's get a cast in there now that we're two minutes in. Two minutes left, two minutes and 38 seconds left. We're in 10 feet of water, uh, like 11 feet of water. And we got 61 degrees, so they should actually be kind of spawning. They should be kind of up shallow or on the transition. I don't know though, it does look like it's fall though, so they shouldn't be spawning in that, but. Marked a fish in a little bit though. Thought I saw someone I was going. That's a small fish. Minute 30 left. Looks like we're pretty much just stuck casting here. Take us too long to just even drive to the cove here. Actually, we've got a pretty good lead. Let's, let's go drive into here just to see in, in case we do another tournament on here or something. Still 12 feet of water here, actually. Alright, well we won. We got a tiger musky. We got a large mouth, a small mouth, a large mouth, and a small mouth. Our biggest large mouth was nine pounds and thirteen ounces, only three ounces away from being the ten pound large mouth, which is like idolized by so many people to catch. But we finished out with twenty-two pounds, four ounces. Top place there, second place was in was 12 pound, 12 ounces. Hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video, part two, and stay tuned for next Friday with part three. Hope you guys enjoyed though. It is that time of the video where if you have not seen that video right there, please check it out as well as the video right below it. 
Don't forget to subscribe. It's your last chance to subscribe. And as always, fish now, worry later. We're out of here.